Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss Venn diagrams showing relationship between given sets. Now let us discuss difference of sets using Venn diagrams. Now difference of two sets A and B is given by A minus B is a set containing the element X such that X belongs to A but X does not belongs to B. Now A and B can be overlapping sets, disjoint sets or A is a proper subset of B. Now let us discuss the case when A and B are overlapping sets. Now we will represent A minus B by using Venn diagrams when A and B are overlapping sets. Now this is a rectangle representing the universal set U. Now these two circles are representing the two sets A and B which are overlapping sets. Now we have to represent A minus B. Now A minus B is the region which is in A but not in B. So the shaded region is in A but not in B. So this is the Venn diagram which is representing A minus B when A and B are overlapping sets. Secondly, let us draw a Venn diagram representing B minus A. Now this is the Venn diagram which is representing two overlapping sets A and B and this rectangle is representing the universal set. That means A and B are the subsets of the universal set. Now here we have to represent B minus A by this Venn diagram. That means we have to shade that region of B which is not in A. Now this shaded region represents B minus A. That means this region which is shaded is in B but not in A. Now let us discuss the case when A and B are disjoint sets. First of all, let us try a Venn diagram representing A minus B when A and B are disjoint sets. Now this is the Venn diagram representing two sets A and B which are disjoint sets. Now here we have to find A minus B that means those elements of A which are not in B. So in this case we will shade that region of A which is not in B. So this shaded region is representing A minus B that is the elements of A which are not in B. So this is the representation of A minus B by using the Venn diagram. When A and B are disjoint sets. Now let us draw a Venn diagram representing B minus A in this case. Now here A and B are two disjoint sets and in this case we have to find B minus A. That means those elements of B which are not in A. So we will shade that region of B which is not in A. Now this is the shaded region which is representing B minus A that is that portion of B which is not in A. So this is the main diagram representing B minus A whenever A and B are disjoint sets. Now let us discuss the next case 
when A is a proper subset of P. First of all, we will draw a Venn diagram representing A minus B when A is a proper subset of P. Now this is the Venn diagram representing A is a proper subset of P. That means all the elements of A are contained in B. Now here we have to find that region of A which is not in B. But here there is no region of A which is not in B. So here nothing will be shaded. So this is the Venn diagram representing A minus B when A is a proper subset of B. Now let us draw a Venn diagram representing B minus A in this case. Now here we have to shade that region of B which is not in A. Now this larger circle is representing the set B and this smaller circle is representing the set A. Now this shaded region represents that region of B which is not in A. So this is the representation of B minus A when A is a proper subset of B. Now let us discuss the representation of A union B whole complement and A intersection B whole complement. Now let us discuss the first case when A and B are overlapping sets. Now in the first part we have to represent A union B whole complement when A and B are overlapping sets. Now this is the real diagram representing A and B which are overlapping sets. Now here we have to find A union B whole complement. That means those elements which are not in A union B. So we will shade that portion here which is not in A union B. That is all the portion inside the rectangle excluding these two circles. As these two circles that is these two overlapping circles are representing A union B. So here the shaded region is representing A union B whole complement. Now next let us discuss how to make Venn diagram representing A intersection B whole complement. Now in case of overlapping sets this overlapping portion is representing A intersection B. But we have to find A intersection B whole complement that means that region which is not in A intersection B. For this we will shade all the region inside the rectangle which is representing the universal set except this overlapping region. So here the shaded region is representing A intersection B whole complement. When A and B are two overlapping sets. Now let us discuss this when A and B are disjoint sets. First of all let us draw a Venn diagram representing A union B whole complement when A and B are disjoint sets. Now here we have to make the Venn diagram to represent A union B whole complement. Now this is a Venn diagram representing A and B are disjoint sets. Now for representing this we will shade that region which is not in A union B. For this we will shade all the region inside the rectangle excluding the region that is this circle which is representing the set A and this circle which is representing the set B. Now here this shaded region 
is representing A union B whole complement. So this is the Venn diagram representing A union B whole complement when A and B are disjoint sets. Secondly, let us draw a Venn diagram representing A intersection B whole complement when A and B are disjoint sets. Now, for this, we have to shade that region which is not in A intersection B. But, here A and B are two disjoint sets, that means there is no region for the intersection of these sets. This means that the whole of the universal set will represent A intersection B whole complement when A and B are disjoint sets. Therefore, whole of this rectangle is shaded, that is, the universal set is representing A intersection B whole complement when A and B are disjoint sets. Now let us discuss the case when A is a proper subset of B. Now let us draw a Venn diagram representing A union B whole complement when A is a proper subset of B. Now as A is a proper subset of B, that means all the elements of A are contained in B, this means that A union B will be this larger circle which is representing the set B. But we have to find A union B whole complement. And for this, we will shade all this portion inside this rectangle, excluding the portion or the region which is representing A union B. That means the set B, which is the larger circle. So here, the shaded portion or the shaded region is representing A union B whole complement when A is a proper subset of B. Now let us draw a Venn diagram representing A intersection B whole complement. Now for A intersection B whole complement, we will shade that region which is not in A intersection B. And here, a intersection B is represented by the smaller circle which is representing the set A. That means we will shade all the portion inside this rectangle excluding this portion which is representing the set A. So here the shaded region is representing A intersection B whole complement. Now let us discuss the representation of a union B union C and A intersection B intersection C. Now let us discuss when A, B and C are three overlapping sets. First of all, let us draw a Venn diagram representing A union B union C when A, B and C are three overlapping sets. Now this is the Venn diagram representing three overlapping sets. Now here we have to find A union B union C. Now here these three circles together will represent A union B union C. So we will shade all this region that is the circle A, B and C. Therefore the shaded region is representing A union B union C. Now let us draw a Venn diagram representing A intersection B intersection C. Now we have to represent A intersection B intersection C for the three overlapping sets. Now for the intersection we will shade the region which is common to all the three circles. Now this region is common to all the three circles. So therefore, the shaded region is representing A intersection B intersection C. Now let us discuss when A, B and C are three disjoint sets. First of all, let us draw a Venn diagram representing A union B union C when A, B and C are three disjoint sets. 
Now here A, B and C are three disjoint sets. Now as A, B and C are disjoint sets, so here these three circles together will represent A union B union C. That means we have to shade the circle A, the circle B and the circle C. Now the shaded region is representing A union B union C. Then A, B and C are three disjoint sets. Now let us draw a Venn diagram representing A intersection B intersection C in this case. Now A, B and C are three disjoint sets. Now we have to represent A intersection B intersection C. That means we have to represent the common region to these three sets. But here as A, B and C are three disjoint sets, so there is no portion or no region in common to these three circles. That means there is nothing to be shaded in this case. So this is the representation of A intersection B intersection C when A, B and C are three disjoint sets. So in this session you have learnt about Venn diagrams showing relationship between given sets. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.